My name is Dr. Shayla Shorter. As a scientist and as a person living with lupus, I am passionate about all things related to how the immune system works. The current COVID-19 pandemic has brought a lot of questions to the forefront. What causes COVID-19? Why are some people getting severely ill, but others aren't? And why is lupus getting dragged into this? In this four part series, we will take a look into how scientists answer these types of questions. So pull up a seat and enjoy the class. So at the end of episode three, I left you with a question. Why is it challenging, but not impossible, to find effective therapies for diseases like lupus and COVID-19? There are many different answers to this question, but today we will talk about three of them. Firstly, lupus and COVID-19 are extremely complex diseases. If you consider the fact that these diseases can involve an abnormal immune response, organ damage to many different organs of the body, symptoms of these diseases can look vastly different between individual to individual, and it can be influenced by things like age, sex, race and ethnicity, even the environment. So if you put all these factors together, it makes it a really complex puzzle for scientists to research. However, scientists are not deterred by a complex puzzle. A second answer to that original question is research requires a lot of time, resources, and persistence. If you think about the definition of research, it's essentially using sets of carefully designed experiments to uncover new information. It's actually a really intense cycle of asking and answering questions and asking more questions again. But the scientific and medical breakthroughs that we are familiar with in the modern age are the result of sheer persistence. For example, after hydroxychloroquine was approved as a lupus drug in 1957, it took over 50 years worth of time, resources, and sheer persistence before another lupus specific drug was approved in 2011. There are different types of research. You can have basic research, which is normally done in a lab and involves cells and other models. Basic research is used to uncover the foundational knowledge that we need in order to develop therapeutics that are used in humans. Once you get the foundational knowledge in basic research, Translational research and clinical research are when what's learned in basic research is applied to humans. Imagine you are a scientist and you're interested in knowing whether treatment A can heal a skin wound in 24 hours. So you set up an experiment where you have two groups of patients. In one group, they have a skin wound, but they don't get a treatment. This is called your control group. Then you have a group called your test group that gets the treatment A that you're trying to study. In 24 hours, when you go to test the group that got the treatment A, you realize, wow, the wound completely healed. Treatment A must work to heal the wound in 24 hours. Now you might be tempted to make that conclusion, but this is why a control group is so important. In this experiment, when you look at the control group that did not get treatment A, you will realize that without treatment A, the wound still heals. So the fact that the wound healed isn't actually due to treatment A it must be due to something else. Well, if it's not treatment A that's causing the wound to heal, what is it? 
you can imagine that this process of asking question after question can go on for a long while. Now, lastly, I'd like to talk about the third reason why finding effective therapies or drugs for complex illnesses like lupus and COVID-19 are particularly challenging. It's because True success requires a multi-pronged approach. Right now, researchers across the globe are in hot pursuit of answers to prevent and treat COVID-19. They are recruiting scientists from all different scientific disciplines using cutting edge technology to apply to this research problem. They're also funding a lot of basic, translational, and clinical research in an effort to understand this problem from all sides. Lastly, there is a really great open forum for the exchange of ideas across the world. With a multi-pronged strategy like this, it's likely that a successful treatment will be found soon. The LRA continues to support lupus research throughout this COVID-19 pandemic. We do this through the awarding of LRA research grants to support innovative lupus research. We do this through our affiliate, Lupus Therapeutics, whose mission is to accelerate drug discovery and diagnostic innovation for all patients living with lupus. And as a partner of the Global Rheumatology Alliance, we are part of a huge effort to bring together the global rheumatology community to understand the burden of COVID-19 on lupus patients. We may not be at the finish line, but we do know that research holds the answers. So I hope that you will support us as we continue to bring lupus into focus, empower our community, and accelerate research amid COVID-19 and beyond. Class is dismissed.